Leia here from LeiaForSci.com and in this video we're going to solve the Orgo 2 final exam question number 4. You can download the exam and solutions on my website LeiaForSci.com slash Orgo 2 final. In question 4 we're told to show how to bring about the following transformation where we're starting with a benzene and ending with a propyl attached to that benzene ring. When you're doing synthesis you always want to ask yourself two questions. Ask yourself what stayed the same and what changed, because that'll help you understand how to bring about that change. What stayed the same is a benzene ring. We have it in the reactant and the product. What changed is the fact that the reactant has no substituent and the product has a propyl group attached to benzene. Whenever you see a benzene gaining some sort of substituent, the first thought that comes to mind is electrophilic aromatic substitution, which is the best way to add substituents onto a benzene ring. Since we're adding an alkyl group, the logic here is to think that we're doing Friedel-Crafts alkylation, but that is not correct. Let me show you why. For Friedel-Crafts alkylation, we start with a benzene ring and react it with a super electrophile, an electrophile that has the carbons we want to add. So here it makes sense to think if we want to add a propyl group, let's take a propyl, put a chlorine on there, put a Lewis acid as the catalyst, AlCl3, and proceed with the reaction. In Friedel-Crafts alkylation, the alkyl group does get added, but instead of getting this product, we get a completely unexpected and incorrect product. We get an isopropyl having added. And the reason for that has to do with the intermediate. The intermediate in a Friedel-Crafts alkylation is a very, very unstable carbocation. In this case, we have a primary carbocation and AlCl4 minus in solution. The problem is the primary carbocation is very, very unstable and having a hydrogen nearby will introduce a hydride shift for a carbocation rearrangement. By the time the reaction proceeds to the next step, we no longer have a primary carbocation, we have a secondary carbocation, which means benzene is going to attack at the secondary position, giving me an unwanted product. So how do you get a propyl group onto benzene? You have to find a way to protect that carbocation so that it doesn't allow for rearrangement, and that way you're forcing benzene to attack at the primary position. And the answer is not alkylation, but instead we're going to use Friedel-Crafts acylation. We're using an acyl group, a carbonyl, and therefore we will not get any rearrangement. For Friedel-Crafts acylation, we plan this reaction the same way. You take the carbon chain that you want to add, but instead of just adding a chlorine, we add a carbonyl and then a chlorine, making this an acyl chloride. And once again, we need that Lewis acid catalyst, AlCl3. The intermediate here will still have a positive charge. The only difference is where that positive charge resonates or moves to. We'll show it here on the side. We have the acylium intermediate, which has a positive charge on a carbon that is double bound to an oxygen. That's not very stable. If carbon has a positive charge, it doesn't also want a pi bond. To stabilize that unfavorable carbon, oxygen will drop its electrons down and that'll give us a triple bond between carbon and oxygen with a lone pair and positive charge on oxygen rather than the carbon atom. This is the group that gets attacked by benzene and this group does not allow for a rearrangement towards the secondary carbon. Which is great for getting the primary carbon attached. The only problem is we didn't add a propyl group, we added an acyl group and instead of having an alkyl substituent we have a ketone in our product. To get rid of the ketone and give us our final product, we simply reduce, and you will have learned one of two, wolf kishner reduction or Clemenson. One is under acidic and the other is under basic conditions. Find out which one your professor wants you to use, and that's the one you want to show. Both reductions do the same thing. They completely cut off the carbonyl so that your final product has the alkyl chain with nothing on it as we desired in the first place. The reagents for the reductions are as follows. Clemenson is under acidic conditions. We're using ZNHG with HCl. The wolf kishner is under basic conditions where we're using H2N and H2. You can also write that as N2H4. It's just a question of if you're showing it out the way it's bound or just the atoms. And this is in KOH. Here we have acid and here we have base. 
be sure to join me in the next video where we solve question 5 in the Orga 2 final exam. You can download this exam and solutions on my website at layerforsci.com slash orgo2final.